Hi folks, I'm Bobby Powell and this is Tim Jones. We're with Carolina Blue Bluegrass Band. We're coming to you from the Dillard Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival in Dillard, Georgia. Uh, this is our second year down here playing some bluegrass for the folks and uh, we're going to do some good old traditional Bill Monroe bluegrass for the folks this afternoon as well as our good friends Balsam Range. Uh, it's just an honor to be asked back for the 20th uh, Dillard Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival. Yeah, we're honored to be here and honored to be with our pals, Balsam Range. I want to give a shout out to them guys, good friends of ours. That was Reese Combs, our bass player, that just, just went by. Just photo bombed us. Worth yeah, but uh, we, we, we appreciate the opportunity to talk to you guys and uh, come on out to Dillard and enjoy some of the best barbecue in the country here and bluegrass music to go with it. Okay, I'd like uh, number three. Uh, the best, the one that uh, was uh, some sort of a dumpling noodle wrapped in bacon with a, a nice filling in there. I'm not sure what it was, but it was really, really good. And I, well, I like cabbage, and, and it had a good taste of cabbage to it. This one, uh, the, uh, what would you call that, a salad? This salad with nuts and peas and cabbage and... Well, it was just really, really super good as far as I was concerned. The, the cabbage taste came through, the nut taste came through, the peas came through, everything came through. My third choice was the one with the shrimp. And that was uh, really good, but I don't think it was as good as the other two. Okay. Thank you. Good. Our first entry had a... Our first entry had a good taste to it, but the texture was way off. Uh, number two, shrimp and grits, uh, was quite watery and just broke down the taste to it. Our third entry had no taste and the texture was way off on it. Our fourth entry was chewy, had a very bland taste to it. Fifth entry was very nice. It was a breakfast type grit uh, with an egg on top. Fifth entry, uh, very consistent. It was good with the sausage in it. And our seventh entry was nice and cheesy and the bacon really added a good flavor to it. Uh, the first first entry had uh, grits with a uh, sausage in it. It was uh, texture was kind of thick. Uh, the second one there was a a shrimp on top of the grits. The shrimp was a little tough. Uh, third entry with the jalapeno with the grits in it. The uh, the inside was good. The pepper could, should have been cooked a little bit longer. Uh, the fourth entry with the fried green tomatoes had a mixture of you know, different flavors and tastes in there. The fried green tomato was a little bit tough. The uh, fourth entry with the egg on top, it looked like a, a lot of excess butter within there, a little, a little bit too much. Uh, fourth entry with a spicy sausage within the grits, uh, texture was a little bit thick. And the uh, Seventh entry, the uh, texture was really gooey that I didn't care for, and uh, thank you. Well, the first one uh, was just grits, pretty uh, bland with uh, not a great texture. The taste was okay, just could have used a little bit more into it. Shrimp and grits on the next one was, was pretty. It looked good. The shrimp tasted uh, possibly it was a frozen shrimp before or something. It wasn't. It had kind of a fishy taste. I obviously really liked the uh, jalapeno. Pretty risky on a competition, though. Not everybody likes that. Fried green tomato was, was pretty good. A lot. I'm trying to figure out everything that was in there. Mushrooms, tomatoes, grits, of course, and... Uh, it was pretty tasty. A breakfast special with egg on top. The uh, sixth entry is all gone. That was grits with uh, some sausage. 
pieces in it that were really nice. The last one had a lot of sausage or a lot of bacon in it, very tasty. Um, just kind of dumped into the pan, into the uh, box though, so kind of just had to scoop it up. Texture left a little to be desired. Uh, commenting on the three that I like the most would be this one here, which was the shrimp and grits with small pieces of maybe something like an andouille sausage, uh, like that. Also, the uh, the breakfast grits here with the um, egg over easy over the grits. Uh, I thought that was very good. And also this one here, which was um, a piece of andouille sausage on top of the grits. Uh, those three were my favorites. Thought were very good. I liked the, the first entry quite a bit. It had a, a nice flavor, although the texture um, was a little a little coarse. Um, the uh, the one in the pepper I thought was very nice, and, and the pepper lended a lot of flavor to it, even not eating the pepper itself. Um, the one with the sausage in it was very nice um, as well. The sausage added a nice flavor to the grits. Um, and then I also liked the, the uh, last entry. Um, it was very cheesy and bacony. had a good flavor to it, but it ended up uh, a little bit gummy, and I don't think that's the, the cook's fault. I think it's just a, a factor of, of turning in grits and having to kind of wait for us all to go through them. So. Yeah, I'll hug you later. I'll go find you. Mark says I was in, he thought I said I'm in red, but I said no, I'm in red. You're the lady in red? Yeah. I found this at my bio down there. You know, I told I called them. I've told them. I'll send you bail. I'll send you what is it? Oh you I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively. To objectively and subjectively. Evaluate each barbecue meat. Evaluate each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. And my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty. I accept my duty. To be a 20th annual Dillard Barbecue Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival judge. So that truth, so that truth justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, excellence and, barbecue, and, the American way of life, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. chicken we've had in many months. There was not a weak link to it. One of them was a little sweet, one of them was a little peppery. I liked pepper. They were all done correctly. I had no bad chicken. Pretty good chicken overall. I think uh, number one was a little bit dry. Uh, my favorite was number two. Uh, overall, it was a good group of chicken. Not a bad one there. Uh, 
Well, overall, all the chicken was uh, really good, had a nice flavor to it, tenderness, except for uh, number four I thought was a bit tough, but my favorite was number two. Number one it looked good, but was dry, and it, the tenderness was dry. Uh, number four was dry, but looked good. The rest of them were very good pieces of chicken. first one was, it probably had the better taste, or at least it had some smoke to it compared to the rest. Uh, overall profile was a uh, uh, kind of a sweet glaze on all of them. The first one was a little overcooked, it pulled off the bone too, too much. Uh, the second one, it bit through, but it had a, a little harder crust on the top, so it pulled that apart also. The third one was the most uh, closest to being uh, uh, cooked well, it, it had a nice bite through. My uh, fourth one, that uh, I couldn't bite through to the bone at all, so that was not cooked all the way. It was a little tough, and my, my last one, the fifth one, that pulled right off the bone uh, real easy, so it was overcooked. The only one that stands out to me is the second one. It was uh, very delicious. It was cooked just right, had a great appearance. It was, the tenderness was perfect on it. Overall, I thought the appearance on all of the ribs was a nice presentment. Um, again, number four was too tough. It was needed some more cooking time. Um, number five and number three had a good bite on my plate and uh, had some good taste throughout. I think the, the first one was just a little tough to, to get the flavor. I thought the second one was good, very good. Um, some some were a little over peppery, uh, uh, <laughs> undercooked, and then overcooked. But overall, they were good. Uh, just one hit the standard that I, I thought was appropriate. I didn't really care for any of them. They were either overcooked or undercooked, and the third one tasted like it had been marinated in pineapple juice or something. So, fifth one was really tough, but came off the bone like it was should be tender, but it wasn't. They were all different. Some were overcooked, some undercooked. Some just fell off the bone, and others you could hardly bite. So overall, they were not the best ribs.
They're all good. <laughs> Very good. My favorite was number one and two. Number one was different, had a mustard flavor, which is unusual. Uh, one was dry. The rest were very good overall. My favorite was one and three. Uh, number one just had a good flavor and it had a good feel in your mouth when you were chewing it. I really liked number um, four. It had a good texture and a flavor and it was very moist. We had five entries in pork. Um, they were all very good. Number one was very moist. Um, number two with very crisp bark on it and very pretty colors and all tasted very well. Um, my favorite was uh, number two. It was moist, uh, pulled apart very easy, had a fairly good uh, flavor profile. My least favorite was number one. Uh, the medallion, it was very um, tough to pull apart. It was undercooked, uh, rubbery, chewy, if you will. Um, so, um, yeah, so number two is my favorite, and number one was my least favorite. Thank you. Ever picked out for you to, you know, hook us up? Tabak? Yeah, Any yeah, man. Yeah, right. we, we knew you'd come with the checkbook, so yeah. we got it picked out. So we're, you know, you we're styling. We're off. You want the blue one, the yellow one? Oh, it's the accessories. The colors, you know, doesn't matter. It's the accessories we're concerned about. I you got want, the truck to pull it. Oh, it's more deluxe than that one. That one's, you know, that's the entry level. But it's this nice though. Don't stress your car out. Oh, I got a truck. I can pull any one we got here. I was thinking of the big one. Yeah, the big one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.